Samantala, malawak ang ating karagatan, mayaman ang ating yamang dagat, pero a lot of it remains unexplored. And worse, may mga unprotected sites. Ano nga ba ang current state ng mga coral reefs natin? And what can we do as citizens to protect them? Dito pumapasok ang NACER, ang National Assessment of Coral Reef Environments. Our guest for today will tell us more about this. He acquired his doctoral degree in biology from the University of Southern California, Los Angeles, California. He is currently a full professor at the Department of Biology of De La Salle University, Manila. He is currently the founding director of Brother Alfred Shields FSC Ocean Research Center and the project leader of Shine Coral Reefs Synoptic Investigations on the Human Impact on Nearshore Environments, a part of the National Assessment of Coral Reef Environments or NACARE program funded by the Department of Science and Technology. His area of research are coral reef, ecology, coral biology, and taxonomy. Mga ka forever, please welcome Dr. Wilfredo Licuanan. Good morning, sir. Good morning. <laughs> uh, you can call me Al. <laughs> Al na lang for sure, di ba? Yes, thank you. Ayan, sir. Kamusay natin ang coral reef, di ba? Pero bago yan, ang NACARE. Paano okay. na buo ang NACER at kailan ito nag-start? Ang NACER ay isang mm -hmm. malaking research program na pinupondohan ng Department of Science mm -hmm. and Technology. Uh, dalawang universities ang involved sa NACER, ang University of the Philippines okay. at De La Salle University. Mm -hmm. Nagsimula kami noong 2014, July. 2014? So bagong-bago lang din ito? Bago lang, lang yung programa. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, it's a three-year program, mm -hmm. so we're entering our last year. Pero sino-sino yung katulong natin dito and um, nag-fund? Uh, ang funding is nanggagaling sa DOST. DOST talaga. DOST mm -hmm. lang. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are sister programs na pinupondohan ng DNR. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pero ano yung main goal natin, sir? Yung NACER, mm -hmm. galing doon sa pangalan ng programa, is a National Assessment of Reefs. Mm -hmm. Ang pakay namin ay malaman ko ano ang tunay na estado currently ng mga bahura mm -hmm. sa ating bansa. Pero hindi lang kami naka-focus dun sa corals. Uh, okay. Meron kaming mga kasama na tumitingin din sa mga nakatira dun sa mga bahura, mga reefish, mm -mm, mm -mm. halimbawa. At yung mga associated na ecosystems like yung mga seagrass, meadows, mga mangrove na forest. Mm -hmm. ah, so hindi in particular, hindi lang kayo nakatutok pala sa coral and reefs? Hindi lang mm -hmm. nakafocus sa coral kasi yung mga associated na habitats Dapat. at yung nakatira sa reef ay nag interact yan at uh, malaki ang epekto sa tunay na estado ng ating mga bahura. Mm -hmm. Pero sir, kamusta ba talaga ang estado ng, ano, ng mga corals and reefs natin? Yung mga bahura natin were finding sa aming mga early results na hindi mm -hmm. naman kasing lala as we expected. Okay. Uh, in fact, yung dami ng coral sa ating mga bahura ay comparable do sa mga mm -hmm. nakikita sa ibang bansa sa Indo-Pacific. Mm -hmm. uh, pero, merong mga nangyayari na uh, halimbawa sa nakaraang tatlong buwan na baka malaki ang epekto sa estado ng ating mga bahura. Mm -hmm. At yun yung, uh, ang, yun yung coral bleaching na yes. kinatawag. Mm -mm. This is the third year of the third global bleaching event. And we're just starting to assess kung ano ang naging epekto niyan sa mga bahura natin dito sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. So sir, yung bleaching, is it safe talaga? Uh, what what it does is kung yung yung init ng dagat ay unusually uh -oh. warm, ang nangyayari ay yung mga corals ay nasa stress, may mga tanim na nakatira sa loob ng katawan mm -hmm. ng mga corals. At kung yung conditions ay hindi maganda, yung mga tanim na nakatira sa loob ng coral ay umaalis mm -hmm. or namamatay. Mm -hmm. At dahil doon, at dahil karamihan ng ener energy ng coral ay nanggagaling doon sa tanim na yon. Okay namamatay sila. So, halimbawa, merong mga bagong assessment na ginawa sa Australia dahil malala ang epekto ng bleaching sa kanila late last year. Uh, some parts ng Great Barrier Reef, kalahati ng coral ay patay na. Patay na. Mm -mm. Pero ang coral reefs sa Philippines, may mga, pag, uh, mga report before na uh, under threat and are slowly dying na talaga. May mga areas na mas mataas ang level ng threat, uh, mm -hmm. hindi natin fully na-appreciate na ang daming nagagawa ng mga activities natin sa lupa mm -hmm. doon sa mga bahura na malapit sa ating mga communities. Mm -hmm. uh, isang halimbawa ay 
kung hindi natin minamanage yung sewage na nanggagaling sa ating mga tahanan. Eventually, umaabot siya sa karagatan, sa bahura, at naapektuhan niya yung dami ng coral. So, isang halimbawa lang yon Ang isa pang uh, halimbawa, yung sediments. Halimbawa, okay. nagpapatayo tayo ng mga kalye, nagpapatayo tayo ng mga tahanan, kung hindi natin minanage yung site kung saan merong construction, yung mga sediments na yan, eventually aabutin yan sa dagat. Uh -oh. So, ang laki ng role ng mga karatig na habitats at activities ng mga uh -oh. tao. Uh -uh. Kasi uh, ang akala lang natin, usually talaga, sa mga fishermen, let's say they are, they're still using dynamite sa pangangisda, di ba? Ito talaga, malaking epekto nito yung pagkasira ng mga bahura. Malaki yung nagagawa ng no, activities natin sa lupa, pero kahit na uh, malayo tayo sa uh -huh. dagat, uh -huh. yung benefits ng reef ay nag extend beyond yung coastal areas. Uh -huh. Pero ang nature, ang ginagawa dito, sir? Para mas makita natin yung uh, protection dun sa ating mga coral reefs. Um, yung siguro yung mm -hmm. pwede kong gamitin na metaphor. Kung, mm -hmm. kung meron kang pasyente, uh, kailangan mo munang suriin kung ano yung uh, kung anong mali mm -hmm. sa kanyang kalusugan. So, uh, kukunin mo yung pulso, kukunin mo yung blood pressure, maybe you'll do some chemistry sa dugo, and so on you'll do a series of tests to find out how the patient is doing. Mm -hmm. That's, in a way, what we're doing sa NACR. We're looking at various things na are associated with reefs. And based on those things, we can tell you how the reef is doing and what is affecting its health. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. So we're doing some really basic things to allow us information that will help guide our leaders kung Paano natin mamamanage at mapoprotect yung mga resources na to para mas sigurado na yung mga benefits na nakukuha natin sa reef ay tuloy-tuloy kung hindi mag-expand. Mm -hmm. uh, I should mention since nabanggit mo yung mga mangingisda, uh, as you know, uh, the fishing sector is among the poorest, yes. lalo na yung mga maliit na mangingisda mm -hmm. sa ating bansa. Sila din yung malaki ang dependence sa health ng reefs. Yes, oo. Okay. So, uh, malaki yung dependence nila do sa health ng reefs, but we should also remember na ang laki ng contribution sa ating protein supply ng mga organismo na nanggagaling sa dagat. Mm -hmm. And many of those organisms at some stage in their life depend on coral reefs. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. So, uh, by themselves, yung corals, maliit yung economic value, pero yung nakatira dun sa reef, yung mga kasama ng mga corals, at yung ginagawa ng buong assemblage na yun ay napakahalaga sa ating uh, um, way of life, quality of life, and even yung livelihood. Mm -hmm. So after your studies talaga, syempre di ba meron kayong result, paano yung implementation to sir? Well, one of the things we do is we provide the basis for certain mm -hmm. policies. Uh, and, and so we try to put our results in a form na okay. magagamit ng ating policy makers. But at the same time, uh, we try to make sure na yung findings din namin ay nakikita ng mga communities mm -hmm. na nag-host ng mga surveys namin. So for example, we produce what we call infographics to communicate yes. uh, what we're seeing. Mm -mm. Especially since, uh, surprising, ang laki ng dependence natin sa karagatan, Pero napaka konti ng Pilipino ang marunong lumangoy. Totoo. <laughs> Totoo yun, no, di ba? Parang, parang guilty ako dun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, sir, syempre, di ba tayo, uh, at from NACR, talaga, from the term NACR, ito, na-derive yung uh, inyong office. Yung aming Explain project. Explain natin, yeah, yung project. Ano ba yung NACR, sir? So, uh, NACR is made up of five projects. Okay. And like I mentioned kanina, we're looking, we're, visit, we're trying to visit uh, reefs around the country. We're mm -hmm. targeting 200. Dami. Uh, and based on what we find in the 200, mm -hmm. we will provide you the latest on what is happening to our reefs. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, second, but equally important objective of NACR is to establish a national monitoring system mm -hmm. uh, para at any point in time, we can get information about how our reefs are doing.
hindi yung mag-organize ka pa ng bagong Pari team. Bagong team uh, you retrain people and then you go out again and mm -hmm. do what we're doing now. In, in theory, we should have a national system na, na perhaps with the weather forecasts, uh, but maybe not as often, we can provide you information on how the reefs are doing. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's not an unreasonable expectation. Kasi halimbawa, itong huling bagyo, okay? One reason it was so powerful is because mainit ang karagatan, especially now, yung Philippine Sea. Yes. And that warm water is the same reason coral re corals are bleaching mm -mm. in Tama. reefs in that area. Mm -mm. Okay. So, so these things are interrelated and, and it's very important for everyone uh, in the country to appreciate these interconnections. Mm -mm. Hindi lang yan isolated sa dagat, hindi lang yan isolated sa lupa. What what we see in terms of weather, in terms of climate, is is also reflected in the other ecosystems that we live in. Tama. Mm -mm. So sir, syempre yan, nakikita namin ang daming steps to preserve this um, biodiversity, hindi ba? Pero ang publiko kasi, hindi ganun kalawak ang kanilang kaalaman. Di ba? From your, from your office, this project, anong ginagawa natin talaga na mas ma-encourage natin na sila na lahat tayo dapat uh, maging aware o maging responsable sa pangangalaga ng karagatan? Well, uh, I should say na, that's why I'm very thankful na mm -hmm. I, I got invited here. Thank you for that. Um, we have to start with... Um, increasing awareness. Yes. Uh, for example, many people think corals are rocks. Mm -mm. They are animals, but they are animals with plants living inside them. Okay. So we have to start with that because if people don't know that, then yung surveys namin, parang useless yung yes. information. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Kung hindi mo kung hindi mo alam kung ginagawa nila for us, uh, kung ano yung tinatawag na ecosystem services na pinuprovide nila sa atin. Then, yung assessment na ginagawa namin, parang paliwala. Mm -hmm. okay. So, we're, we're trying to uh, increase that awareness in through programs like this, through some of the knowledge products that we're trying to generate. We're finding na it's not just doing the science, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. also communicating the science. Mm -hmm. That's very important. And, and we're starting to go into that, even though we were funded to do the surveys. We are trying very hard to communicate our mm -hmm. surveys to mm -hmm. other people. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, sir, di ba, tama yun. Mas maging aware tayong lahat. Hindi lang yung mga nasa tabing dagat na dapat laging paalalahanan, hindi ba, sir? Pero sa ngayon, ano yung uh, top priority sites ninyo? We're, uh, since we're entering our third year, ang original plan namin, to finish the surveys in the Visayas and the eastern part of the Philippines. Mm -hmm. But uh, tomorrow we're starting a series of meetings to re-examine our priorities. Mm -hmm. Because of this bleaching event, uh, I can show you images, for example, of reefs in Palawan. Mm -hmm. and, and the images are depressing because uh, large numbers Damage of talaga. corals are dying. Okay. Okay. If you want to see the effects of climate change, as you can see with your own eyes, mm -hmm. you visit some reefs in some parts of the Philippines, you will see the corals are white, unnaturally white. Mm -hmm. okay. That is because the ocean waters are warmer than usual. Warmer could just be one degrees, one degree, two degrees, that is enough already to start killing off. Mm -hmm. And so we have to re-examine our priorities because bakakalahati ng data namin shows the effect of climate change. Yung kalahati not quite. Yes, uh -oh. And so anong ibig sabihin on kung ganon? So mm -hmm. we have to rethink some things. So the priorities will change in the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. So talaga sir, ang may epekto ng climate change. Malaki yung epekto ng mm -hmm. climate change. This is not the first time nagkakaroon ng bleaching. We had. An uh, event in 2010. That's when we tried to catch the attention of the public. Mm -hmm. We didn't do a very good job then. Um, this time, maybe we can do a better job through programs like this. Yes, Dev, kami sir talaga lahat tayo na support of course sa magagandang proyekto and adika ng ating gobyerno. Let's say, sure, di ba ngayon nakikita natin ang dami ng affected na mga coral reefs, di ba? Um, ano pa yung mga steps to preserve this? 
Hindi ba siyempre sa pag namatay ito, paano magkakaroon ulit ng panibago o paano pa siya manganganak parang ganyan? One of the important things to, na, kaila, na isang dahilan kung bakit kailangan gawin yung assessment mm -hmm. na ginagawa namin is there's a lot of resources being put into reef rehabilitation, uh -huh, which is not cheap. And it's a very young uh, um, area of study. Madami pa tayong hindi alam paano i-restore mm -hmm. ang isang damaged na reef. Okay. One of the things that uh, we need to know is, let's say we choose a reef for rehab, mm -hmm. which means spend on trying to fix that reef. E paano kung it turns out na that reef has a history of bleaching? Mm -hmm. Siya yung isa sa mga unang mm -hmm. naapektuhan kung unusual ang condition sa dagat. Mm -hmm. That means we're putting our money in the wrong places. Yes. Okay. That's one reason why we have to do this assessment. It allows us to identify priority areas, areas that need rehabilitation, areas that need protection, areas that can take care of themselves as long as we don't stress it mm -hmm. too much. Siyempre, sir, sir di ba meron tayong mga areas, mga island na talagang, uh, kumbaga hindi pa natin na-explore, ika nga, di ba? Paano natin nababantayan talaga? Well, Anong assurance natin na ito? Lagang natututukan to na huwag masira. Um... That, that's a very good question. Um, um, personally, I think much of the resources being put into rehab should be put into protection, uh, managing the fishing. Yes. Hindi naman totally ban it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but, but controlling the level of it, controlling what is being taken out and what is not. For example, you don't want to take out the fish before they have a chance to lay eggs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So, so uh, there are simple things that we can do uh, to make sure our ecosystems are exploited sustainably. Mm -hmm. and, and those don't require, you know, um, very high levels of science. Yes. You know, it just <laughs> needs appropriate information communicated to people who are allowed to understand what's going mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. and therefore could make good decisions mm -hmm. about these ecosystems. Tama. At syempre, di ba, ito one way to eh. Para, di ba, ang mga tourists natin talagang pinupuntahan ng Pilipinas para makita, sumisid sa mga ilalim ng dagat para makita yung kagandahan talaga o oh, yamang dagat na taglay ng Pilipinas. In fact, yes, that's uh, one thing na is very important to communicate to, for example, our viewers. Mm -hmm. um, the Philippines is part of the Coral mm -hmm. Triangle. The coral triangle contains half of the coral reefs in the world. Okay. In terms of reef area, the Philippines is number three, mm -hmm. yun, behind Australia and Indonesia. And our reefs are known for its diversity. Yun, and it's kind of tragic na mas familiar pa yung mga tao sa ibang bansa about that diversity uh -huh. than our own Time people. Filipino. Yes. Mm -mm. And, and that's why... If I'm asked to give advice, uh, una kong sinasabi, go out there and increase your awareness. Mm -hmm. Know about what these things are and make sure to see them mm -hmm. because uh, they're disappearing very fast in some places. Mm -hmm. And some of the places where they are still mm -hmm. in good shape are very remote. Tama. Mm -mm. Naniniwala ba kayo, sir, na talagang ito daw, ang tourism talaga, it's a uh, more, kumbaga, alternative um, way of generating income? Yes, uh, especially if it's managed in such a form na the benefits stay in the coastal communities mm -hmm. rather than go with the investors. Yes. Mm -mm. Okay, so... For example, in one village in Batangas, mm -hmm. where we're helping a small city um, uh, run a parang educational tourism. They, they show people around a reef. Mm -hmm. They increase people's understanding of what's going on. And they derive income from that. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so their income depends on the condition of the reef. Therefore, they are encouraged to take care of it. Okay. And at the same time, they are helping other people understand why we have to take care of the reef. Mm -hmm. So that, to me, is a sustainable 
form of tourism that we need more of. Mm -hmm. Tama yun, sir. No? Siyempre, from NACER, meron kayong mga assessment. Since nabuo itong proyekto na to, meron kayong mga assessment na ginawa. And then you got the result. Meron na ba mga successful na... We are starting to find these mm -hmm. reefs na are surprisingly in good shape kahit okay. na ang lapit sa urban areas, mm -hmm. even near Batangas City, parts of western uh, Amindoro, mm -hmm. parts of Bohol. Okay. A lot of people have written off Bohol as masyadong madaming blast fishing dyan, wala nang isda sa reef. But you'll be surprised, there are some gems uh, wow. even uh, mm -hmm. in central Visayas. Mm -hmm. but, along with, of course, yung some of the really nice places in Palawan, Northern mm -hmm, Palawan, mm -hmm. Coron, Swanga. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So yun talaga yung mga kilalang sites na, na talagang yes. puntahan ng mga tao. Halimbawa ang publiko, sir, ano ma-advise ninyo para naman kami makatulong din sa pangangalaga natin sa mga bagay na to? Like I mentioned, um, I have, we have to start with mm -hmm. awareness. Okay. Like yung sinasabi ko, uh, corals are animals. Ganyan. They are not rocks. Ganyan. And I should add, this one thing we're trying to mm -hmm. teach in Nacre, just because may coral sa isang lugar doesn't mean you have a coral reef. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you have to know the distinction between a coral and a coral reef. Mm -hmm. Okay, it takes a lot of corals over thousands of years to build a reef. Okay, and it's those reefs that we should be understanding and caring for because ang laki ng ginagawa nila for us. Mm -hmm. Tama yun, no? Talagang umpisa-umpisa, alam natin dapat kung ano munang corals and reefs, di ba? Tama yung sinabi niyo, sir. So it starts with awareness. Yes, tama yun. And then, until now, continue yung studies ninyo, pero yung mga reef reforestation, meron na tayong mga data. So May mga this. restoration efforts. It's a separate set mm -hmm. of uh, programs. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them are also being funded by the OST. Mm -hmm. So, ang partner natin, aside from the OST, we have DNR. We have DNR. Uh, BFAR is mm -hmm. very important for mm -hmm. this. Uh, we shouldn't be parang compartmentalizing yes, uh -oh. uh, the same way. We shouldn't be treating the the reef as a uh, commodity. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's more than that. Mm -hmm. Maganda yun, lahat tayo magtulungan, iba't ibang ahensya ng gobyerno, departamento ng gobyerno. Sa isang magandang adikain natin, di ba, sa pangangalaga natin, ito taglay na ng Pilipinas, yaman dagat natin. Ang ibang bansa nga, pumupunta pa dito para lang makita ito. Lahat tayo mga laga at mas maganda kung ma-explore pa natin ito, di ba, sir? Kasabi na pangangalaga natin, of course. Any more messages po dun sa ating mga tayo? Uh, I think that's it. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, uh, uh, awareness is very important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you so much, sir, for okay. your time. Again, thank you for inviting me. Uh -oh. And anytime, meron kayong mga updates and more projects on DOS TV. Andito po. Any more projects from your office? Baka meron kayong gustong uh, itag-i-anyaya? We have, uh, we're starting a few things, pero mm -hmm. we have to get them funded first. Okay. <laughs> Good luck, sir, and okay. thank you for your time. Ayan, okay. mga kaibigan, ka forever, marami man tayo natutunan ngayon at sana tayo lahat magsuportahan, magtulungan tayo para sa pangangalaga ng ating kalikasan. Kaya kayo dyan, mga ka forever, let's do our task and be aware na bawat isa ay may papel to protect ang ating mga karagatan at yamang dagat.